Look at that. Look at that shine in the light. They're gleaming. That's right. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's having a great day. Today, we're out in the garage and we are going to ceramic coat my new 22 by 12 TIS 547 BM wheels. Gloss black with the black milled accents. So, we're going to go ahead and ceramic coat these today because I'm going to be running these wheels and tires all season long. So, let's jump right into today's video and get started on ceramic coating these wheels. So, this is the ceramic coating I'm going to be using today on the wheels. So, if you guys are interested in, um, you know, purchasing some good ceramic coating, C Quartz is my favorite. I know a lot of the major detail product companies, um, you know, have their own ceramic coating out now. But I just wanted to say this is what I'm using. I did my old Hellcat and my old TIS wheels with this bottle. And look how small the bottle is. And I've only used that much. A little bit goes a long way with ceramic coating. All right guys, so the first step in ceramic coating anything is you wanna make sure there's no oil or debris on the surface you're gonna be coating. So what I did was I just took a spray bottle with just water in it and a microfiber towel and washed the wheels, washed the rims, um, obviously before I apply the ceramic coating. Absolutely stoked on these wheels, guys. I absolutely love them. So we got all four wheels cleaned up. There's no blemishes or scratches on any of the wheels. So shout out to Perfection Wheels for handling that for me. So C Quartz is by CarPro. CarPro makes a lot of different car care products. Um, they give you this pad and then basically you take the uh, microfiber towel they give you and put it over the pad like that. Then you dab the ceramic coating onto the pad and then apply it. I'm gonna strap the GoPro to my head to show you guys how to do this and uh, show you the proper way to ceramic coat these wheels. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and start ceramic coating this wheel here. Make sure you shake your ceramic coating up really good before you apply it. And then uh, obviously make sure your surface is free of any debris or oils. And then basically you're gonna take the top off. And I hope this is still good because I haven't used this since probably 2017 been a while since I ceramic coated my other wheels and my Hellcat. But anyway, uh, what you do is you take this and basically just dab a line onto the pad. Just like that. Oh, and by the way, you want to wear gloves because they say like there's glass in this somehow when it dries up. I don't know, there's like glass fibers in here. You want to make sure you wear a, uh, rubber gloves when you do this. Um, that's just what they recommend. So yeah, there's little like glass shards in the ceramic coating. It's kind of weird. So, all right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to apply it, but you don't want to go back and forth with this application. You just want to, um, you know, continue the same stroke all the way around. Just like that. And then you might as well go ahead and do this lip here. Try not to hit the tire because there is some dirt and debris on the tire. You're just not going to get that 100% clean. Um, I know there is like tire goop around the lip from them mounting the tires onto the rims. But overall, they did a great job at mounting and balancing these tires. There's no scratches from them mounting them, which is good. So now we got the outer lip and then the inner lip done. And uh, now we're going to go ahead and do the face of the rim. So after you get the first coat on, you want to make sure you let it sit for about one to five minutes and let it dry. Um, once it's dry, you take another microfiber and, and buff it basically, just like you would wiping wax off a car. And then I'm going to go ahead and ceramic coat these all four wheels twice. Uh, that way it gets a good hard coating on these wheels so that it protects it from the salt and grime that they're about to see this winter here in Michigan. So you don't have to do two coats. but 
being that these are gonna see the worst, I'm gonna definitely coat them twice. That way I get a nice hard coating on these wheels so that they last and stay nice. Now I'm gonna go ahead and let this one dry, move on to this one, and then do all four in the same process. So now that it's been sitting for about five minutes, you wanna go ahead and take a clean microfiber and basically just wipe all the ceramic coating off the wheel. The first coat of ceramic coating is done. As you can see, it looks great. Super shiny. Definitely brings out the gloss black in these wheels, putting the ceramic coating on. Look at that. Look at that shine and the light. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the second coat now, and then do the same process that I did before in the video, and then these guys will be almost done. After your second coat, there's one last step, and I'll show you guys that here in just a second. All right guys, so I got two coats on all four wheels. So we're all done with the ceramic coating. Now what you do is you take your reload spray by Car Pro, and this is basically a silicone spray sealant that basically seals the ceramic coating on the rim so that it lasts longer than you know a couple washes. So they say when you use the reload spray, you can get about six washes out of it without having to use the reload spray again to, to reseal it. That's after a bunch of car washes, you know. So um, we're gonna go ahead and apply the reload spray now. One thing I want to mention is this stuff goes a little bit goes a long way and you want to make sure you shake it up really good Make sure that it's not really runny and apply it to a towel Because like I said a little bit goes a long way if you just spray it like a normal spray detailer all over the rim You're gonna get streaks and it's gonna be really you know streaky and you know You're not gonna be able to get it off with one clean microfiber You're gonna have to use a couple and it's just a lot of work I made that mistake on uh, my old Hellcat when I ceramic coated it I just sprayed the reload spray right on the paint and then I'm rubbing, rubbing, rubbing and it's so, since it's a silicone based, it's so slippery and slimy that it leaves a residue. So we're going to go ahead and apply it on the microfiber first. Kind of like that, just three, four little mist sprays. And then now what we're going to do is just basically rub it on the wheel. Just like that. Like I said, a little bit goes a long way, so you don't want to apply it to the rim. You want to apply it to the towel first and then wipe it on the rim. And if you feel like you need more, if it's not that smooth of a finish when you're done, you can apply more to the microfiber towel. Do it once over again. Just like that. Add a little bit more. This part of the wheel. So I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but you see how it's a little bit hazy? You want to make sure you wipe all that off. So you might have to flip your rag. You might have to flip your microfiber over. Use a dry side to wipe that off. There we go. Much better. All right guys, so we just got done applying the reload spray and now the wheels are 100% ceramic coated and complete. As you can see from the reflection, they're gleaming. That ceramic coating did a great job on there. Now we're gonna let the wheels sit for 24 hours before we mount them on the truck and get them exposed to the rain, snow. All right guys, so that's gonna complete today's video on how to ceramic coat your wheels. If you like the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate all the support on the channel. Make sure you guys stay tuned for more content. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one. Peace.